Hi, welcome to my how to go and how to clean the detergent drawer on your Zanussi Electrolux washing machine. Now, I got a Zanussi washing machine and an Electrolux washing machine and a Zanussi Electrolux washing machine. I think you can see where this is going. My Electrolux owns Zanussi and builds Zanussi. Believe it or not, the drawers in this Electrolux and this Zanussi and this Zanussi Electrolux for the last for 11 years are exactly the same. It doesn't matter which model you have, whether it's the top of the range the time manager from Electrolux here, the mid or lower range Zanussi jet system, or this even older Zanussi jet system progress washing machine. It doesn't matter, they'll all have the same drawers and the same method of getting them out, cleaning them and putting them back in again. The only difference between this one and this one is that that one's gray and that one's cream. That's it. Uh, same amounts of detergent allowed to be put in, same amount of compartments, there's no difference. Um, I'll just uh, give you a heads up on these machines, this is my own machine. Um, I love Electrolux and Zeusy stuff, so I've got my own set there. And this is um, one that I've, I've, I've bought to fix up and clean and sell on. Though, to be honest, there's nothing actually wrong with it, it's fine, it's perfectly working. And this, um, this is my first machine for when I first moved in. Right, so we're going to focus on this machine today. And we're going to focus on how to get it out. So, first off, you pull the drawer out. Look at it on top. What you want to do, put your finger on this button here. It even says push on it and pull. Then what you want to do is you want to clean around the sides and on the inside of that. Now I've already done that. There might be a little bit of uh, that was clean. It's uh, fallen off the back of this drawer, so we'll wipe that back off again. But we'll go and clean this drawer. So let's go upstairs. All right. So get your detergent drawer and bring it to the sink. <clears throat> And then you want to remove this grate, but I'll simply pull up. And I just want to ruin some hot water. It's a bit of hard in there, still. Move backwards like that over the holes. Set it from top like this. Right. So I'm just set it the front, without water. Grab yourself a toothbrush and then you want to scrub down here, which uh, might be a bit hard to see. But if you look underneath here and at the top here, you've got uh, detergent residues and on the side here. I'm going to soften that one. Right, here's a little tip for you. Get yourself some cotton earbuds. And um, if you find that the softener is not actually draining out, just get this. Find the holes. Push the earbud down in the holes. Now, if the build up a softener, it can harden over time. And it will stop here. Now. Also, as you can see down there, you also get a build up of um, mould underneath those holes anyway. So you can have it use the, there we say, you can use that. Use a toothbrush to reach down there. But even with a toothbrush, it can get restricted. So 
So if you're getting restricted, just get yourself a cotton earbud. <laughs> the long and nice you can reach places. They can also bend as well. You also want to just clean the back as well. You'll get detergent build up on the back and bolt. There isn't that much more than there, all detergent build up. Right, when you do the front, just use the soft side of the sponge. Just wipe across. Just get yourself a little toothbrush. And you'll just find that this here, just get it built up. Just use your toothbrush and brush along. Those little grooves there, and all that dirt should eventually come out. Again, the little pre wash and main wash, little icons in there to get built up with dirt. Again, just get your toothbrush and clean them. Right, finally, to the grate you just wanted to take a look at. So, you've got the holes here, uh, these need a clean out, and the top here as well. Use a rough side of sponge to clean like down the soft, where's the softener to get rid of the mould or the max area, or even where it's just need to clean, etc. Right, and then finally, you want to get into here. Now, you can use a toothbrush maybe. Finally, what you want to do is actually rinse all this off and we'll actually put this bolt to one side so it makes it easier. And just use the cold water to rinse off the excess. There might be just the little areas, spots where there might be black mold not attached to but uh, it's still sticking to. Now I've got a much cleaner drawer overall. See? <laughs> Fine, new. Finally, you want to get your softened grate and you'll find that you'll only go on with the two bigger holes. The bigger hole towards the front, the smaller hole towards the back. That's it, it doesn't clip in, it just sits in. There we are. I'm ready to put back into the machine now. Right, finally, get your drawer. And just before you put it back in, just get a towel or a cloth and just rub the plastic front out. And then what you want to do is locate this corner here and this corner right in here with these lugs here and here. Right, now just hold it there. And there's two ways of putting this in. You can either push hard and it will eventually go back in or you can push it to there then hit the push button and push at the same time there we are it's all fixed in right and that's how to clean the detergent drawer on your Zanussi jet system range washing machine like I said this can be applied to all Zanussi and all Electrolux models and all Zanussi Electrolux models ranging from about the year 2000 up to about 2011. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found this video helpful on how to clean your own detergent drill. Thank you for watching.